Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello. Hi, Ruth. Lorena Hi. and Glenda. I can see you girls. How is it going? How was your your morning? Or how is your day going? Is it a good day? So so not a good day. How is your day going? Okay, let's see, let's give your classmates just a minute. Damos un minuto más para empezar a la una en punto. Thank you so much for being just on time. Hello. Hi, Lore. Hi. Okay. Girls, did you practice spelling your last name? Did you? If you remember yesterday, we were practicing a conversation and in the conversation, you needed to spell your last name. Did you practice spelling your name and your last name? Yes? No? Practicaron deletreando su apellido, su nombre? No, teacher, no. No, teacher, we didn't. No. No, dice, okay. no se olviden de la conversación. Ayer estábamos, empecemos con el repaso, right. Yesterday, we had the first topic, and it was about introducing yourself. Right, nos estábamos presentando, but in the conversation, we were including um, personal information, like your name, your last name, and we were also giving comments about people's country. ¿Se acuerdan qué expresión utilizábamos para dar un comentario del país de esta persona? O para comparar que también nuestro país es bonito como el de la otra persona. What was the expression? So is. So is. ¿Qué significaría? También. So is, right? I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is El Salvador. So is. So don't forget about that. No olviden eso. So, as I mentioned before, we need to finish with that activity today. Okay? We need to finish so you can be able to introduce yourself. ¿Cuál es nuestra meta de esta primera actividad? Que ustedes mismos se presenten sin ningún problema, sin estar leyendo, sin haber memorizado, sino saber qué tipo de información intercambiamos. ¿Ok? Your name, your last name, your country, and also to talk about other people. Esa es nuestra meta para esta primera actividad. También hacer comentarios o preguntas de alguien más. If you see, let me show you the conversation that we were having yesterday. So you can remember about vocabulary and the topic. But first, let me show you this. This is class number two. And the topic for today is going to be possessive adjectives. That is the second topic, second class. So let's go back. Let's go back to the class from yesterday. Yesterday, we were practicing this. This is the conversation, you see? First part, we are introducing with somebody. We are giving name, and we also mentioned this information, but please call me, pero también llámame o llámame, in this case, not Elizabeth, Beth. 
Second part, la segunda parte que hablamos de alguien más, ¿ok? Presentamos a un amigo más. Hablamos de una tercera persona y deletreamos nuestro apellido. So, how are we going to do this activity? If you see, here we have this information. We need to include this information in the conversation. Your first name, your last name. If you have a nickname or a short form to be called, you can include that, but please call me. Podemos incluir el nickname o eh, como nos dicen. Si es su primer nombre, pues puede ser el primer nombre. Muchas veces nos llaman por el segundo nombre, right? I am from, you're going to include your country's information, for example. Your country, the place where you live in San Salvador, in Santa Tecla, in Sonsonate. You can include I live in, and we are going to add extra information. Nationality, nacionalidad, ok? Vamos a agregar nacionalidad. Y también podemos preguntar, what was or what is your last name again? What is your last name again? O podríamos preguntar, What is your country again? Utilicemos esa expresión. Les agrego esta última información. What is your again? You can say, What is your last name again? What is your country again? What is your nationality again? Let's use this expression. So this is the information that we're going to have. So let me give you one minute or two so you can write this information. Escriban esta información y luego vemos cómo nos va en grupos creando conversaciones, okay? No siguiendo una estructura, sino que veamos cómo nos va una conversación como si fuera que estamos platicando con alguien por Primera vez. Right. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Si ¿Sí está claro lo que vamos a hacer. Teacher. Um, yes, yes Lori. Yo, yo la completé, pero no sé si estaría bien. Okay. Do you want to try? ¿Quiere probar, Lore? Probemos ahorita, tal, a ver cómo nos va y luego nos vamos en grupo y entre todos nos apoyamos. Right. Yes, Lorena. Okay. Empecemos. Okay, go. Uh, my first name is Lorena. My last name is Borjas. But you can call me Lorena. Okay. Uh, I am from El Salvador. I live in Lourdes, La Libertad. I am Salvadoran. Eh, y como usted dijo que podíamos decir algo más, I like to eh, watch romantic movies and enjoy with my family in weekends. Very good. So, ¿cuál es el reto ahora? Si se fijan, esa fue una presentación personal. Right. Pero, ¿qué pasa en la vida real, chicos? ¿Será que a otra persona nos ponemos nosotros y le presentamos toda nuestra información? ¿O lo hacemos de una manera eh, que estamos conversando? Un diálogo. ¿Cuál es la manera más común de hacerlo? Like a conversation o like a presentación. Diálogo de una manera interactiva. Exactly. Es like an interactive Exactly. Uh -huh. Right. So, let's do it real. Vamos a hacerlo entonces, ya que tienen su información, no como una presentation, personal introduction, no. Vamos y conversemos. Que la otra persona sea quien me saque la información. Hey, what is your name? Ah, yo ya sé qué responder. What was your last name again? Utilicemos expresiones que se vea como una conversación real. Porque okay. esto sí es algo que sí nos va a pasar. Es lo más básico que nos pasa, ¿ok? Conocer a alguien, introduce yourself. De Entonces, hecho, yes. uh -huh. de hecho nos, nos ha tocado muchas veces hablar con nuestros agentes en origen yes. y, y previamente hay que establecer una conversación con ellos. Ok, imagine, claro. exactly. Before 
antes de irnos a, en sí a la información que necesitamos intercambiar con ellos, es bueno siempre interactuar un poco con la persona para crear ese ambiente de confianza también, ¿verdad? So you see, this is very useful because you use this information in your personal life and also at work. Lo utilizamos en el trabajo también. So in my case, it's the same. I, I need to interact with different people the whole day and I'm doing this constantly, right? Lo hago constantemente, interactuar con mucha gente nueva a diario. So I need to introduce or to give my personal information and to interact with people. So are we ready to work in groups? Or do you have mm. questions still? Do you still have questions? Yes. No? I'm gonna be there listening to you. If you have questions, you can ask teacher, how do I say, o cómo podemos hacer esta pregunta. La idea es que cuando volvamos, después de cinco minutos, vamos a hacer diferentes grupos, diferentes parejas, y todos puedan interactuar. Right, vámonos a la práctica right now. Let's go to practice. Here we go. Let me see if I can have pairs. Veamos si me salen parejas. I don't think so. Parejas de tres. Let me see. No, me queda un grupo de tres. Parejas de tres. No, no, no. Aquí pongámonos. Veamos a ver. Let's go class. Let's work in pairs and I'm just going to have a group of three. Here we go. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Vamos a tener una conversación. Así que puede empezar usted. No empiece usted porque yo no estaba en la clase. The, si ladies ahorita, first. No, teacher. Ladies first. ¿Ah? ¿Cómo fue? The ladies What? first. Ok, Yanira, don't worry. Solo es información eh, personal. Like your name, your last name. ¿Qué más era? Country. For ah, example, your nationality, uh -huh. so let's interact, mm. present. Right, okay, here we go. Okay, Bien. Ede. hola, bueno, voy a empezar yo. Hi, hello, Miss. Hi, questions. Hi, Miss, I need your help. Please send the uh, how do you say compartir? Share. Ah, to share screen. Compartir pantalla. Yes, yes. Okay, right now, let me go in. Do it. Three, nine, four, eight, nine, two. Okay. What is your email address? My email address is uh, Jorge Dominguez. Uh, is at that. Ah. That uh, email at 
Ah, okay. Do do you like do you like movies? Yes, I like the the movies. What movies do you like? I like the movies. Uh, the horror. Ah, okay. My favorite movie is uh, Lo que el viento se llevó. Ah, okay. Maybe. Glenda is here. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Who is Glenda? Glenda is my co-worker in Operation Team. Ah, nice to meet you, Glenda. Nice to meet you, Alberto. My... Como digo, me voy a presentar. Uh, I am... Please let me introduce me. ¿Cómo? Please let me introduce me. Uh -huh. okay, Permítame introducirme o oh, presentarme. Sí. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, pero Sammy, ahí voy a decir usted. My name is Samuel Martín. Ajá, y luego. But you can call Sammy. But you can call me. Sammy. 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 Yeah. Ah, bueno, entonces ya digo. Nice to meet you, Sammy. My name is Ivania Rivas. And. My, le vamos a cambiar aquí. And my nickname is Eva. Y entonces usted me dice. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Eva. Ajá. ¿Qué ponemos después, Amar? Uh, eh, ¿Qué ven? Uh, me... Where are you from? <risa> oh, no. usted, me, usted me pregunta. Ahí la in, porque ¿de dónde, de dónde viene? Mm. ¿Cómo se dice Don Pamela? ¿Dónde vive? Eh... Where do you live? Ah, uh, where do you live? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué me quiere preguntar? ¿Dónde, ¿De dónde soy? ¿O dónde vivo? No, ¿de dónde soy? My first name is Gustavo. My last name is Alvarez. Um, and, but you can call me and Gustavo, Gus, or Tavo. <laughs> uh, I, I, from, I am from uh, Salvador. Um, uh, I live in San Salvador. Um, I am Salvadorian. It's my nationality. What is your game? Joshua, your presentation. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, it's time to come back and to listen to you. Okay, let's see how it goes. Veamos cómo se siente la conversación. Sí, un poco automática, robótica, or like a natural way. Let it flow. Dejemos que la conversación fluya, ¿ok? No la hagamos tan formal. Ok, so let's see if we can do this activity right now. Let's wait for your classmates. And then I'm going to pick up one of you so you can talk to me. Here we go. So do I have volunteers or do you want me to pick somebody? Volunteers, boys or girls? Who wants to participate? <laughs> yes. Nosotros, con Lore. Okay, very good. So remember, try to make it like a conversation, not as a presentation, personal presentation. So go please guys, let me listen to you. Vamos, vamos. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ellen Nilsson. Uh, what last name? I'm Kashpar. Oh, how do you spell that? C A E S H P A R. Oh, thank you. Kashpar. Uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is meat. Mexican food and pizza. Oh. Lore, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is soap, uh, chicken, and Chinese food. Bye, Lore. No. Where do you work? <laughs> I work is uh, Daco Trans, uh, the Central America. Oh, nice to meet you. Ellen Wilson. Nice to meet you. Too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Excellent. Vamos a darles aplausos virtuales. Very good job. Ellen Nilsson, bye. Decía, no, wait, wait, let's see Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask you, class, comments about this group. Al inicio, no sé si fui yo o no escuché que Lorena dijo su nombre, right? Pero el Nilsson le dijo, ok, Lorena, ¿cómo es que sabía el nombre? Remember. <risa> right. Dejemos que la otra persona también. Él es adivino. Él es adivino. <risa> yeah, right. Pero en los nervios, ok. Ok, no, but you know, solo son comentarios eh, en general, vean, para que los demás también pueden notar. Ah, pero no me dejo decirle mi nombre, ¿no? So, what's, what is your name? Like this one. Veamos, eh, let me have two more volunteers y luego elijo solo a uno yo. Yanira quería participar. Ah, great, Yanira, you want to participate. <laughs> She's saying no, teacher. Pede. Usted me dijo, Yanni. Eh, de yo no nosotros le he dicho, prestamos sí. de voluntarios. Yo... <risa> es que nosotros lo hicimos, pero no con, en base a las preguntas que habían puesto. No, don't worry. Si no es en base a eso, veamos cómo se presentarían o cuál sería la interacción que tendrían si fuera alguien nuevo que estamos conociendo. Vamos, go. Ok. Qué malo, Eddie. Voy a empezar ya. Malía. <risa> Vaya, empiece. Hi, my name is Edenilson Molina. What's your name? My name is, I, hi, Eve. Uh, my name is Yanira Mejia. Uh, could you spell that your last name? Um, it's M-E-J-I-A. And you? Okay. My uh, last name is uh, Molina, M-O-L-I-N-A. Uh, do you have some pet? Uh, Yes, uh, I have four pets, uh, three pets. And? 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 Other kind of pets? Uh, 
the uh, the name uh, maybe a cat pet. Uh, no no I can't a sariguella no 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 a rat uh, no okay tell <laughs> me uh, how about you uh, uh, I don't have some pets I don't like um where are you where are you from Eddie? <clears throat> I'm from El Salvador. I live in El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. What about you? Ah uh, the same. Okay. I... Nice to meet you, Lorena. No, <laughs> Janira. <laughs> no. Nice to meet you too, Eddie. Okay. Final sí, no. inesperado. Porque, right? porque siempre me cambian el nombre. Siempre I me dice know. Lorena. I'm so sorry. Lorena, conteste. ¿Por qué será, Lore? No, no sé, porque mucho, mucho lo molesto. Okay. okay next. Unexpected ending. Final inesperado. So you say thank you, Janina and Elenilson. You know, just a comment. It was nice, me gustó, pero eh, hubo una parte que I don't have friends, no, I don't have pets, I don't like them. ¿Y cuál fue la siguiente pregunta? Uh, where are you from? No, tratemos de siempre a un comentario, dar también nosotros un comentario. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Y ya se termina como esa parte. Si no es como la otra persona está diciendo su comentario, es como que no nos interesa, no le hacemos caso. Mejor me pasó uh -huh. otra pregunta. No, so, just like that, okay. okay. So, let me see. Let okay, me try sure. with, um, veamos cómo me va con, let me see. Alberto. There we go. Hi, Alberto. No, bueno, no me, no me puedo el nombre. Hi, teacher. Se me trabó la pantalla, pero okay, ahí está. Ok, Aquí vamos. So, es, hey. How are you? Hi. Uh, I'm good. And you? I'm pretty good. What's your name? My name is Albert. And you? Ah, uh, my name is uh, Carmen Elena, but you can call me Elena. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You call me George or Albert. Oh, you? Okay, really. So I'm going to call you Albert. So uh, where are you from? I am from uh, Chalatenango. Oh, interesting. I'm from San Salvador, you know. Um, where do you work? I work in the Dakotans de Central America. Oh, interesting. Uh, I like my work. Really? Do you like your work? Wow. Yes. And you, where, um, where are you, no, where are you working? Um, you know, I'm working at uh, Inglés Corporativo right now, and I really love my job as well. So, okay. look, I have a friend. Uh, her name is um, Gabriela. No? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat, please? I have a friend. Um, ah. Her name is Gabriela. Oh, nice to meet you, Gabriela. Nice to meet you too, Alberto. Where are you from? I'm from um, I'm from El Salvador. Okay. Uh, we are Salvador Salvadorians. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Okay, we are Salvadorian. It's good. Oh uh, yes. Um. Um, and where do you live in South, in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Sorry, where do you live in El Salvador? Uh, I live in San Salvador, but I I am from Chalatenango. Okay. Okay, okay yes. Gabby, Gabby, and you know, Gabby, I have a friend. Her name is Glenda. Uh, Hi, Glenda. Hi, Gabby. Hi. Uh, <laughs> um, Hi, Gabby. Um, 
Ay, qué palabra era. How are you? What? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, And you? I'm I'm fine too. What is your uh, what is your name again? Um my name is uh, my first name is Catherine and my second name is Gabriela, but I prefer uh, call me Gabby. <laughs> oh, oh, very nice. Very nice. Um, yes, and, and your and your second name. My Where is your sec second name? My second name is Erika. Okay. Uh, how about you? Can call me call me Glenda. No, you prefer Glenda. Yes. Okay. okay, Glenda. Do you know Glenda? I also have another friend. Her name is Rita. Hi, Rita. How are you? Hi, Glenda. I'm fine. I I am happy to participate. Oh, so great. <laughs> Glenda. Eh, no, Rita, Rita, eh, I am, where is you from? I am from El Salvador. Where do you? you live? No, no, no. I, I live in San Salvador. Oh, Japanico. Yes, so Japango. Okay. Okay, Rita, you know, Glenda, Rita. what is your sport, okay, favorite sport? Winter. What? Your partner comment about your, your favorite sport, front. Oh, oh. The, the run, the, your, your, um, your sport, the, the practice every 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 day. I am practice the running every day. Huh? Every day, six six days a week. Teacher Glenda is a athlete. She's an athlete, really professional athlete. Yes. Wow, interesting. I yes. didn't know Glenda. So that is interesting, Glenda. So, do you practice any other sport? What? Other. Do you do you practice any other sport? No, not really. Only only running. Only running. Wow, interesting. Yes. Thank you so much, Rita, for that information. You know, Rita, I also have my friend Ruth. This is my friend Ruth. Say hi to Ruth. Mi amiga Ruth. Hi. Ruth. Wow. Ruth. Hi, Rita. Hi, Ruth. How Bye. are you? Um, fine. And you? I'm fine. I uh, I don't remember your your uh, your complete name. Complete. Um... Complete. Complete. Uh, 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 my name uh, Ruth uh, Anabel Miranda. Y you? Rita. Rita Sosibel. Very strange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ruth. Uh, uh, what did you prefer? The cult, called, yeah. called you um, Ruth or Ruthy? What? Uh, Ruth, Ruth. Okay. Nine, Ruth. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Ruth. And you know, I have my friend Jorge. Let me introduce Jorge to you, Ruth. No. Okay. This is Jorge. Um, Jorge. Uh, Jorge. I like. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am fine, and you? 
very, very nice. <laughs> okay. My name is Jorge. My last name is Orantes, but you call me George. Okay. Uh, I live in, I live in Do I live in? I live in Reparto Santa Fe, San Salvador. Uh, okay. I am you? Uh, you, I live Where do you in live? Santa Tecla. Really? Santa, Santa Tecla, Tecla is a best city. Yes. <laughs> Where do you work? Uh, El Salvador. Oh, okay, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, uh, I am word is Daco Trans de Central America. Yes. Okay, yeah. Jorge, you know, I also have my friend Carlos. Let me introduce Carlos to you. Hello, Carlos. Microphone. Hello, Jorge. How are you? Hello. Where are you from, Carlos? I am from San Salvador. And you? I am from San Salvador. I live in Reparto Santa Fe, near US. Ah, this is near the Mexican and San Salvador. Really? Yours. Uh, what do you What do you like favorite um, sport? My favorite sport is basketball. Really? Yes. But in this moment, no, no practice. But you, what is your favorite uh, team basketball? and the play of the NBA this week. Uh, is Boston Celtics or Warrior, Warrior the, the San Francisco? My favorite team is the Warrior from Warrior, San Francisco. Yes. yes. Is, and is, you, what did you do the sport? Uh, sport? I have uh, many <laughs> favorite sports. And mountain bike, play soccer, basketball, volleyball. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Carlos, and you know, I have also my friend Gustavo here. Say hi to okay. Gustavo. Hello, Gustavo. How are you? Hello, Charlie. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Uh, what is your last name, Carlos? Ah, my last my last name is Barrera. Oh, okay. Where do you live? Uh, I live uh, I I work in Acotas and Fry in Guatemala. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is play soccer. Play soccer is ah. it's a good okay. Gustavo. Do you, do you have a baby or children? What? Do you have baby or children? Yes, I have uh, one children. One child is a uh, girl baby. Girl baby. Yes. Uh, did you watch the Real Madrid games this weekend? Yes, the last weekend. I see the final champion live in okay. Sydney, France. It's very okay. interesting the the um how do you say means partido in English? Match. Game? Okay. Match. Match. Yes. match as well. Game or match, yeah. So okay. interesting, okay. Gustavo. Say hi to Josue as well. He's also my friend. He wants to say hi. Okay, bye Charlie. Uh, hello, Joshua. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? 
Uh, good, very good. Uh, where are you from, Joshua? What? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from El Salvador. Ah, okay. Uh, and you live in, in San Salvador or uh, out? Um, I live here in, in San Salvador. Okay. okay. Very good. Thanks, Joshua. Okay, Joshua, say hi to Samuel. Samuel as well, please. He wants to say hi. Hello, uh, Samuel. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. And you? Uh, fine. Well, um, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Josue. Um, and what is your job? Uh, repeat. What do you have to hobby? Uh, is uh, uh, what uh, movies? Oh, um, the what pelic do you recom recommend me to watch? Movie, uh -huh. the what movie do you recommend me to watch? Mm. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Relax, let's breathe right now. Class. ¿Cómo sintieron esta interacción? Si se fijaron, nada de lo que habíamos repasado en parejas los hice que se enfrentaran a alguien diferente. Right. How did you feel this interaction? ¿Se vieron forzados o no a hablar? Yes, no. Fue, ¿Cómo se fue a quemar ropa. Exactly. Yes. Is real life like this? Is la vida real así? O tenemos ya alguien con quien vamos a hablar? No, right? Sure. So, yeah. yes. Let I me listen to you. Question. Tell me, please. Uh, you said the match is partido in English. Yes, you can say match as well. Mm -hmm. Pero también match significa otra cosa, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, como nombre y como verbo. Remember that in English we can have words like a noun or like a verb. Como nombre es un partido. Soccer match. Basketball match. Volleyball match. Pero como verbo significa to match. ¿Cómo es eso? Como combinar, como juntar. How much? Coincidir. Match. Coincidir, exactly. So, yes. Uh -huh. Depende de si es verbo o nombre. So, very good questions. Interesting. I really like this type of activity. Vamos a seguir haciendo ese tipo de actividades donde se vean ya más forzados a usar su inglés. To use your English, you know? Salir de la zona de confort. So if you see what we have been, been practicing, look at this one. We have been practicing this structure that you already know. Listen, here we go. Um, possessive adjectives. So if you see, when we refer to possessive adjectives, we are talking about something that belongs to someone, algo que le pertenece a alguien, right? Para eso los usamos. That's why we call them possessive. Por eso lo llamamos possessive. Viene de la palabra posesión, right? Similar to Spanish. So if you see, how do we use possessive adjectives? I am, I, I am, we're going to say mine. I, mine, mio, you, you are. What is the possessive? Your, tuyo, 
What is your name? What is tu nombre? Right. He. What are we going to use with he? His. Mm -hmm. His. De él, right? So let me do this one. Subject I, we are going to use my. With you, we are going to use your. With he, what is the possessive adjective for this subject? His. His, very good. She. Her. 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 It. Remember that it, it can be used for all objects, places. So, no es el plural, sino que es el posesivo. It. We are going to include S. It. We're. We. No se parece la escritura. Miren, it's our. This is our class. Es nuestra clase. And the last one is they. What is the possessive? Their. Their. So, please don't confuse the contraction of it plus the verb to be. No confundamos it con el posesivo. Miren, uno lleva el apóstrofe y el otro no. It is. It's. Y el posesivo es it's. They have the same pronunciation. Pronunciation is not going to change. It's. With the verb to be and it as a possessive. Look at this other. Very similar. También se parece mucho en escritura y en pronunciación. Your and your. ¿Escucharon alguna diferencia? You. Tengo en mayúscula. You are in the contraction is your possessive your so how are you going to identify if I'm talking about the contraction of the verb to be or if I'm referring to the possessive como se cual de los dos estoy diciendo si el possessive o la forma contractada del verb to be it's just the context. El contexto nos dirá todo. What is your name? Is this okay? Is this question okay? What is your name? Is that correct? Yes or no? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan? Let me make it bigger. La hago más grande acá. What is, is your name? Alguna corrección? Any correction in this question? It's not correct. Ah, pero suena igual. What is your what is, name? What is All your right. name? All right. So what is the correct form of expressing this? Your. What is your name. Your, your name? Very good. If you see, they may sound the same, but they are different. Pueden sonar lo mismo, pero al escribirlas no va a ser lo mismo, right? What is your name? What is your name now? So, aunque suenen parecidas, el contexto nos cambia todo. Very good. So, this is. Um, the information about the possessive adjectives. If you see, we have been using contractions because in English it's very common to use contractions. When we are talking and also when we are writing. Muy común utilizar contracciones, right? Because we are always trying to 
save time and save words. So, listen, if these are statements, si estas son respuestas, ¿qué significa? That we need to have a question. Look, because these are statements. What is the meaning of a statement? ¿Qué significará entonces statements? What is that? Or can you give me a synonym? What is an statement? Yes. Los escucho. La idea es que es un statement en inglés. Like sentences? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Un sinónimo de statement is a sentence. Una oración. So, whenever you see this word, it's referring to the same. Oraciones con V. Verb to V. So, no es nada diferente lo que estaban viendo. Son oraciones. Les decía, si tengo oraciones o respuestas, what do I need? ¿Qué necesito? I need to have questions, preguntas. Si tengo respuestas, I'm from Mexico. You are from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a business student. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They are my classmates. What type of question? What type of question? ¿Qué tipo de pregunta tengo que hacer para obtener esta respuesta? Look, la primera. Veamos si podemos. I'm from Mexico. Am I? Where is Mexico? your... Where are you Where from? Where are you from? Okay, muy bien. Where are you from? Esta es la respuesta de alguien más. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. Look at number three. ¿Qué pregunta hago con number three? He's from Japan. Esa es la respuesta. He's from Japan. Now make the question. ¿Qué tipo de pregunta hago con he's from Where Japan? He's Where, from? Is he Where is from? he from? Where is he from? Where is he from? He's from Japan. Mm -hmm. Very good job. So, why? ¿Por qué les pregunto eso? Because, look, we have questions with the WH, questions with the verb to be. Right. Ese va a ser nuestro tema de mañana, questions with the verb to be. So, just let me finish with this. Terminamos con el tema de ahora. What do I use? Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Complete the sentences with a partner. And let's see if we can complete this right now. We still have time. Look, veamos cómo podemos utilizar los possessive adjectives. My, your, his. Hair. Y todos los demás. My name is. Aiko, Aiko Yoshida. Ok. Ella se está presentando. My name is. ¿Qué sigue? ¿Qué sigue? From I'm, Japan. I'm from Japan. Ajá. I'm. She's. No, se está presentando no. ya mismo. I'm, so, I'm, oh, I'm from, from Japan. Japan. Very good. I'm from Japan. Very good. My family. My family. Um, is in Nagoya. Oh, very good. My family. My family is in Nagoya. Is in Nagoya. Mm -hmm. Le sigue. Brother is a college student. My, my, my brother. brother. Ah, okay. My brother is a college student. His, his name, name is, is Haruki. My name or his name? His, 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 ah, because his name. Exactly. Mm -hmm. His name is Haruki. Very good. Number two. Similar conversation. My name, My is, name Matthias. is Matthias. Okay. Now Matthias is introducing. My name is Matthias. 
I'm from Santiago. I'm from. I'm from Santiago. Very good. Acá solo era I'm. My mistake. It's. It's a really, it's a really, it's a nice, really city. nice city. Oh, it's. ¿Por qué utilizamos it? Why it's? it's city. Because we are talking about place. A place. It's a really nice city. Sister my is a sister. student. Oh, okay. My sister is a student here. My sister is a student here. Parents are in Chile right now. My parents. Ah, my parents. My parents. My parents. Okay, and number three, it's Angelica's information. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm Angelica. Ah, interesting. ¿Por qué no me dijeron my name is Angelica? Y me dijeron I'm. ¿Qué les indicó que voy a usar I'm? I'm. Mm -hmm. No teníamos la palabra name. I love Pero name. Porque... Yo entiendo por qué. Uh -huh. Ahí dice, but every young call my engine. My, uh -huh. So, in number three, you can easily use my name is Angelica or I'm. Very good job. Ambas uh -huh. están correctas. But my everyone name. calls me NG. Yes. Okay. Bueno, por lo menos nosotros cuando... Llamamos a nuestros agentes y se presentan. Ellos uh -huh. dicen, this is. Oh, yes. This is. Uh -huh. Exactly. They say, this is. Alicia. Saben que eso es muy formal. Este, this is. Hi, this is Elena calling. I need to ask you something. This is. Este. El my name is. Siento que es muy. Eh, como lo que aprendemos normalmente. Mi nombre es, pero incluso en español no lo usamos tantos. Es correcto, this is. Yes, it is, claro que sí. Hey, this is, y tú, y usted menciona su nombre, right. Hi, this is Charlie. Hey, this is Lorena. Incluso nosotros podríamos utilizarlo. Cuando llamamos pero a alguien, this is, yes. Solo formal, teacher. It's very formal. Mm -hmm. Es muy formal, pero también se puede ocupar en otros contextos. Hi, this is Lorena. Y casi nunca mencionamos eh, nombre completo, solo un nombre o un apellido, o solo el nombre. Right. So this is. Bien, me gusta esa observación. Eso But, nos lo enseñó, o bueno, o yo lo aprendí más bien. Yes. Hace años, cuando mi ex jefa nos dijo, cuando te vayas a presentar, que llamas mm -hmm. a Europa, this is, this is Mariana. This is Edenilson. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y siempre lo usamos, al final es lo formal. It is formal, very formal, I know. So you see, so let's compare. ¿Por qué en este caso entonces están diciendo ellos my name is? Porque es una presentación ya personal, pero cuando ya interactuamos, les dije, no es como tan estructurado lo que decimos. My name is, Elena. No, es como más fluida la conversación. So... It's acceptable for you to use. This is. Incluso la forma de llamarle a las personas. Le llamamos a veces señor, señora. Right. Mister. Y decimos el apellido. Mrs. Y el apellido. Señor, señora. En inglés es muy común llamarlos por apellido. ¿Mm? So it's the same, right? So let's conclude with this exercise. But everyone calls me Angie. Terminamos este ejercicio, veamos. Last name. My, my last name is oh, Newton. My last name is Newton. What a great last name. I student at I'm, City College. I am. I'm. Yes, a I'm a student at City College. My parents, parents are on vacation. My parents are on vacation. My parents, my parents, are, my parents. are on vacation this week. In Las Vegas. They are. 
They are from they Las Vegas are. or they, they are. are in Las Vegas? They, they, are. Are. they are in Las Vegas. They are, exactly. They are not from Las they Vegas. Are. They are right now on vacation in Las Vegas. Very good job. Questions about this exercise? Any other comment or question? I guess this was very, very easy exercise. So class, ¿qué aprendimos ahora o qué ejercicio eh, tuvimos ahora? How to talk to somebody, interactuar con alguien directamente, ¿ok? A quemar ropa, como dijeron. It's very nice. Es bueno hacer esto. Vamos a hacer eh, ese tipo de prácticas en real life, en contexto real, para que podamos utilizarlo en el trabajo y también fuera de esto, ¿ok? So, questions, comments about this class. All right, so if we don't have questions, it means that everything is clear. So in case that you have questions, don't forget, you can send the questions directly to WhatsApp. You can contact me as well. Right, so. Teacher. Yes. Yesterday you told us um, about the, materi uh, the material, mm -hmm. the student. Student's book. Yes. Yo le voy a preguntar. The same. Yeah, you know, I ask, I ask people from uh, the, the, the coordinator from the courses, but I didn't get a response. No obtuve okay. una respuesta. So let me ask right now again. Ahorita pregunto nuevamente. So I can have, les comunique en WhatsApp lo que me digan, okay? Para que no esperemos hasta Thanks. mañana. So thank you so much, class. Gracias por el esfuerzo de este día. Nos vemos mañana, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See you. Bye bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.